In my family, we love Marvel. So when my daughter asked me to make her her own Captain America, I was like, sure, easy. All I need is to find a rich genius, a medical genius, a super soldier serum, a metal cocoon, and a really good guy. Okay, maybe not so easy. Let's see if the internet can help. I'll just search for a good picture. Found it. And then I'll open up my favorite uh, photo processing software. I just enlarged it to life size and then printed it out. And got a whole stack of papers. And then I decided to splurge a little bit. I found this really nice cardboard. It's very thick. It's like three layers thick. Um, and I got a great deal on it. It only cost me a thousand bucks. But the best part is that it came with a free TV. It was awesome. And you'll see that I'm going to have my daughter do a lot of the work on this since it's her Captain America. <laughs> It's my favorite glue, Super 77. It's a contact adhesive, which means you have to spray both sides and then you let them dry. And when you touch them together, they'll just stick in place. So we're gonna start with the head and that will kind of line things up for us. And then we just go piece by piece, adding to his body, one page at a time. We don't bother cutting out the picture yet, so it's okay that there's white paper on it. Okay, now that he's all glued onto the cardboard, all we have left to do is cut him out. I start by roughly cutting out the shape uh, so that we have a smaller piece to work with. It just makes everything else a lot simpler. This cardboard's so thick that we can't get through it with a single swipe of the blade. So it's okay to go over each cut several times. Now that we've got it in a smaller area, we just follow the edge, cutting a little bit out at a time. Even cut away little pieces just to make it easier as we go. I'm not gonna make you watch while we cut the whole thing out. So let's just enjoy a little bit of the California ocean. And there we have him, her very own life-sized Captain America. I had a lot of fun making this with my daughter. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more things like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. You can also follow me on Instagram at I'm not bored, I'm creative. And until next time, don't be bored, be creative.